welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video today we are back in the burning crusade in outland we are in the burning crusade expansion and it's exciting to be back here uh all of you voted in the atn community well a lot of you voted <laughs> and you all chose to go back to outland so here we are we are officially kicking off the outland series and now in the past i've already done a few videos of outland as you all know and i've been here i've been to the black temple and stuff like that so you already are going to see a few outland videos but it's going to be fun to continue and do more of the dungeons that i haven't done yet so today we are down in the blood furnace uh dungeon and i've already got out of bounds obviously you guys know if you want to see how i got out of bounds you can join the ATN membership. It's only $2.99 a month, so like $3 a month. It's so just another way you can support the channel, and it allows you to see how I escape out of the OBs. Uh, but with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now, we are already below the map, and as you can tell, we are nowhere to be seen. But if you were to open up the guide and you can show the map we are down below like right over here in this section but obviously we're not on the map anymore because we're technically out of the map but uh, what's really awesome is we are officially downstairs in the blood furnace so as you guys know the raid magtherian's lair magtherian's lair i think i'm saying his name right that is actually him right here so we can walk up to him, but before we go down to him uh, and go check him out and what his model looks like and all that, we're going to go take a look around the, the below blood furnace. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. There's not too much to see down here. There are a few key things that look really awesome, but I love, love, love this downstairs view of everything. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? You can see the whole map outside. You can see outland above the sky. Uh, I don't know. It's just really awesome. Some of the things you can see outside this dungeon. Now, as we come up here, uh, we're actually going to make our way into one of the hallways here. And as you can tell, the doors don't go out. Because normally you're not supposed to be down here because this is actually the raid for the the uh, the boss there below. But if you kind of poke your head out here, you can kind of get an outside glimpse of what the outside would look like. Now... This is one of my favorite views because um, you can see just some floating particle effects here. Is an arrogant fool. I will crush him and reclaim land as my own. That was awesome. <laughs> I wanted him to talk, so I didn't want to uh, over his voice, but this is so cool right here. Now, what's really funny to me is if you guys notice, the skybox is the same skybox they actually use in the Caverns of Time. Believe it or not, it's the same Outland skybox you get. But what's really awesome here is you get this cool view of just the floating objects because we're technically looking through the outside of the map. And so we're getting a view of everything that's not loaded in. And so you get the uh, the last boss here in the blood furnace up here. You get the, uh, the, the beams that are pointing up and holding him down below in the raid. You got the tunnel that leads you back to the beginning of the raid or the dungeon so it's just really awesome you get a lot of cool stuff here now we're actually going to start walking back forward here there we go and i needed to get my camera back so you can kind of get a below shot here and it's just an awesome look like I, I love this look right here it's so cool seeing this all above these are things you're never going to get to see but uh, let's take a right here and let's go down the ramp and let's actually go into his lair room down here. Now, normally you're only supposed to access this place through uh, getting in the raid, right? So you're never supposed to be down here, but we can kind of see a lower polygon model of what he looks like from below. But before we do that, look at this. Now that's actually the tunnel leading back to the beginning of the dungeon where you actually start. So if you go through there, you can go through there and it's like a shortcut back to where you're going. So now what's also really neat too is so you have the okay so sorry my bad the tunnel over here on the left is the one that leads you back to the beginning it's like a shortcut after you defeat the final boss in the blood furnace this is the hallway that you actually start the dungeon in and then you loop around right so what's kind of neat is there actually is some a little bit of hellfire ramparts sticking out of the map here that you normally can't see but it is cool that they do put a little bit of detail outside so you're not just fully seeing nothing out there so 
I wish I could actually get out there. I'm going to try to attempt to get out there one time and show you guys that little part. Now, I don't know if you can stand out there. I don't know that. You might just fall through the map. This might not all be solid to walk on. So a lot of times what happens when you get out of bounds and you'll just either fall through the map and you'll DC or there are little places that you can't stand at. So it just depends. But uh, I'll have to make my way out there and see if I can get out to this little piece over here. That would be pretty neat. So this is really awesome views of the tunnels there. Love the shot. Now let's actually make our way down into Magtheory. Don's, I think I'm saying his name right, Lair here. And as you guys can see, he's just floating in midair here. But what's really neat is he actually knows that we're here. So if you actually look up and you move, he actually follows you. Look at, he's following us, which is kind of crazy. I did not think that he would do that. But look at, his head actually moves with us, which is kind of strange that they made him do that. But you're never supposed to be down here unless you're in the raid. So why they actually kept his model being able to follow you is just kind of creepy. Um, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so what's really cool is you get this above shot here of the, uh, the star that they're drawing. And because you got to remember, these are all demons. So they're definitely dealing with the afterlife here. And that's kind of creepy right there. But you get this awesome shot of him floating above with the star. And I think I'm going to make that my thumbnail actually for the video. That's just really, really awesome. I love the scenes in this. Now, there's something really awesome uh, coming out here is if you actually walk up to the orcs that are keeping the, him afloat, you can see that they are... I don't even know if they have models, like head models. Oh, there they go. Okay, so they do. So he does talk every once in a while, which is pretty awesome. What's also really cool is you can see there's like these block shaped textures that are like keeping him floating here. You know what they really remind me of? The cubes from Hellraiser. The, uh, you know, the cube that Hellraiser brings around, uh, or the bot. I don't remember what that thing is called, but in the Hellraiser movies, there's the, um, um, Pinhead. He has, like, the, uh, the box that he unlocks, or the, uh, if anybody can correct me or knows, whoever grew up in the 90s, 80s, <laughs> let me know. I, I forgot about what it's called, but, uh, it just reminds me so much of that and, like, the cubes and the, um, so, anyways, I just thought those were really neat to look at. Now, one thing I do want to show you guys, if you actually come back here behind this gate and you take a look up over here. Uh, where is it at here? There it is. Look at that. You're going to get a really awesome shot of the outside of the map with nothing there. So you just get like this floating star and the, uh, the beams. How awesome is that? That is a cool look right there. Now, something really interesting, if we were to drink the Stinky Bright Potion, that changes everything. Now you got a star with the sky and the beams. So now you don't even got Outland, you just got this sunny map outside. Remember, that's actually the beginning of the entrance. You can see the portal right over here, just barely making it out. So really awesome views in this map. I mean, like I told you, there's not too much to see outside. But it is really neat to just come down here and explore and see things that you're never supposed to. Um, just get a glimpse out from above. Because when you normally look down here, you're going to see him floating. You're going to see the people. But I always wondered. It's just so crazy to me that he actually follows us when we move around. Now, unfortunately, we can't attack. None of these NPCs are targetable. So that kind of sucks. And from what I know, there isn't a way to actually get back up. So you're either going to have to hearth out like hearthstone out or you're going to have to, you know, find a way to kill yourself with the bonfire with the, um, the, uh, pin whistle nitro fuels. So, so just remember that if you try to, uh, if you come down here, you're kind of stuck. So now we're kind of stuck down here. <laughs> unfortunately but uh yeah guys i mean that's about it 
This video isn't too long, I know, but uh, there's not too much to see. But if you want to see how to get down here and explore, uh, you know, I'll catch you on the ATN membership. But I just want to thank you guys so much for voting in the community. I will definitely be putting out some more Burning Crusade Outland videos. I'm excited to return here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can actually fly over to... Because if you guys know, for those of you who might not know, Outland, the Burning Crusade, back in the day, since it was the first World of Warcraft expansion, they didn't really have the technology to split up <clears throat> the, um, the areas of the map. And what I mean by that is uh, in Azeroth, in the Eastern Kingdoms, you have the Eversong Woods, you have Ghostlands, you have the Isle of Quail Danas. Now, all of this is actually in Outland. So if you go over to Outland and you were to fly out that direction, like way that way, you will actually get over to those places. So <laughs> I'm going to see if I can attempt to fly from the nether storm all the way over there and we'll see what happens. So, but anyways, guys, um, I just want to thank you for always supporting the channel. You guys are the best. I'm having so much fun making these videos. Um, I know I kept saying that, oh, I'm going to make announcements for the Hearthstone tournament and the transmog contest and all that. Those are coming. Don't, I'm still planning out a few things that I want to do and how I want to go about them. So do look forward to those in the, uh, coming next weeks, um, before summer ends, we need to host those and, uh, I'm just excited for the all things nerd future. So, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody. And as always, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.